Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look at my test results testing my second antenna on my SenseCap M1 Helium Miner. In this video, we will recap quickly my history mining helium. We'll have a look at what my test setup was and which is the antenna that I tested for the week. We will go over my earnings and then we will look at what am I testing for the week that's coming. If you like this content, maybe consider subscribing to the channel as I'll be documenting and posting regular videos on my journey to figure out what is the best setup for me and testing the various different antennas. But enough of a shameless plug for my channel, let's jump into the content. Looking at my history, in case you haven't watched my starting helium mining video, I'll leave a link in the video description and tag it at the top. But the short version is I bought a Bobcat 300 miner last year. And then looking at the lead times, I noticed that I'm definitely not getting it anytime soon. As such, I managed to find a SenseCap M1 locally from a scalper that I've picked up and that I've been mining, I think, since the 8th of January. I then did the normal thing and bought a hell of a lot of antennas to try and figure out what is the best setup for me. And that's really what this video is about, to track my journey and to share some of the results of testing the different antennas that I bought. Looking at the antennas, I've got six. If you haven't watched my one month update, I'll leave a link in the video description, but I go into a little bit more detail there. But the short version is I've got six antennas. Two of them are three DBI antennas. I've got two longer range antennas, 5.8 and a six DBI antenna. And the six DBI antenna is what we're going to look at today or the results of that. And then I've got one longer range, eight DBI antenna. So the idea is that I cover the short range with the three DBI antennas and then the longer or medium range with the six or around six dbi and then eight dbi as a very long range so that's the idea or that's what i've um, you know the thought process of buying the different antennas was so as i mentioned a little earlier this video specifically focuses on the six dbi mcgill antenna that i've picked up from the scalper when i actually picked up the SenseCap m1 miner so let me show you what the setup looks like upstairs Right guys, so this is what the setup looks like. So you can see there's my gaming PC and you can actually see there's my um, Raspberry Pi 8 gig that I'm gonna host a flux node on. There's my gaming PC and this is a ITX case by the way, so you can see the difference in sheer size. The gaming PC is busy mining, so it's mining flux um, at the bottom and at the top it's mining, I think, Monero Ocean on the CPU. But anyway, I digress. So here is where I've got the antenna at the moment, so you can see it's a bit of a makeshift solution with a Elgato um, camera mount duct taped all the way to the top of the wall. And the cable that I've got there is the 400 LMR cable that I mentioned earlier. So now that you've seen my dodgy setup upstairs, let's have a look at the earnings. So according to Helium Explorer, I've earned 0.49 Helium. So that is exactly the same as what I've earned with the previous antenna and my previous testing from the one month update video. So it's exactly the same. So according to, to Helium, there is not really a difference between those two antennas. But saying that, I did notice that I get about one to two witnesses less on average over the course of the couple of days. And then I also transmitted six less beacons. Now, the other thing to call out was there was a massive outage, I think on the 7th of February on the Helium network. So I'm not exactly sure how much that impacted this antenna. So I might need to come back and retest it. So looking at the results, I really don't think there's much of a difference between the 5.8 dBi indoor antenna and the 6 dBi McGill outdoor antenna that I tested this week. So between or what I consider the mid range that's around 6 dBi um, range, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference. And that sort of leads me into next week's testing. So what I wanted to do is test the shorter range to see if that makes a difference. So I have two 3 dBi antennas, one indoor one and one indoor outdoor one. So I think next week or I'm going to swap it out just after this video, I want to test this specific one so it's the out indoor outdoor one so it's got the same connector as at the back as the mcgill one and then what i'm thinking of doing is testing it with this nice little short cable so it's got again the correct connector here at the back so that i can plug it in and then this this side needs to go into the helium miner so it's 
probably not the right one so I do have a little adapter to switch it out but yeah that's the plan for this week is to test the three DBI antennas and probably the next week later I'll test the, the other pure indoor one that's it for this one guys if you've liked the video please like it and maybe consider subscribing if you didn't like it please specify in the comments what you would like me to change or specify what antennas are you guys using otherwise I'll catch you in the next one cheers Woo!